do not let anyone disturb your peace. No matter if they're talking shit or not, go find your calm place. Don't let them mess up your energy. Don't let them steal from you. Don't let them take power away from you. Create a, a calm place within that you can go to, or a happy place within that you can go to, to just create harmony and balance within. Don't listen to gossip. And just just be your brilliant and bright self without letting anyone disturb that. Because there's a lot of people that see your light. A lot of people that know that you there's something about you. And because they don't like it or because they don't embody that themselves, they will try to disturb what's going on within you. All that goodness, all that all that uh, light, all the, you know, they'll try to dim your light. And so just do what you have to. Make decisions. You know, if you have to leave that job, if you have to leave that relationship, if you have to leave that, you know, that surrounding of those people, the friends, just do what you have to, 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 uh, To reserve and and protect your peace and and your love and because people will try to make you into one of them you know and it's just like no we, you know we have this we have this embodiment of love and we have this you know these great gifts that the universe uh, divine source has gifted us with and we be damned if we let anyone or anything um, try to take any of that away from us and so just keep your balance keep your harmony and your peace buds butterfingers say hi say hi buds say hi oh the baby so <clears throat> this morning my my lovely baby she wanted to go take a walk so we're here at the park and uh i just thought to make a video because apparently you know uh people are being tested you know what i mean to see if they're going to be able to how they're going to react and respond to certain situations and sometimes we get tested with the same thing over and over again until we like you know what say hey I'm just going to put it in God's hands, you know, so I, and that's, that's something that I've, that I've been practicing and, uh, doing myself, just anything that's going to stress you out, not going to, but anything that's stressing you out, anything that's worrying you, just, you know what, and if you, if you don't have control over it if there's nothing that you can do about it then the best thing to do is put it in God's hands but come here come here there's a bite coming well, anyways it's so beautiful out here it's so Used to be a whole lot more trees. There was a willow tree over here. But I guess they were <clears throat> grooming or whatever you want to call it. Trying to maintain the park, so they tore some of them down. Which anytime they tear down trees, I'm just like not in for it. 
some are, you know, are dead. Some are dead, but some are some were still alive. So, it's like um, tearing down the whole tree is like uh, we need our trees. We love our trees. And we give gratitude to the trees, the grass, all the, the greenery and flowers and beauty. Buds is enjoying herself. She's looking in that hole. Let's go, let's, let's, let's go take a walk. So this concrete is coming up. The roots, the roots is pushing it up. But not a baby. JD. In this rock, you can see a lot of <clears throat> what would you call it? Sediments? Like shells and stuff. That would be nice to try to break that rock open, huh? <laughs> yes, I am a what is it called? Rock hunter. Someone that enjoys Ugh. Let's see if we can see anything. Anything. You see a lot of shells. But it'd be nice. This one's got some really big, really big stuff going on uh, right here. I guess I'll roll the windows up to the truck and I'll take a walk with Buds down that away. Such a beautiful day. We give gratitude. So raise your hands up. Look up. We give you gratitude. We thank you, Divine Source, for all that you do. Thank you. So make sure you know where you want your mind and your focus to be at today because it's important. It's important for your sake. It's important that you are focusing on the right stuff. The right people, places, and things. Go somewhere where you can just be quiet. Somewhere to start your day off. Like, you know what I mean? Just. Just. Literally. How do you want to start your day? How do you want your day to go? There might be people that test you today, but continue to to <clears throat> tell yourself, no, I'm going to keep my, my joy, my happiness.
<clears throat> so what I've noticed through my practice is that I'm more calm. I'm more more at peace, joyful, happy. You know, it, it, it helps when you're not around people that start drama. It helps when you're not around people that gossip. It helps when you're not around people. <laughs> Butterfingers. Look at her. She's So Rain took a walk, so she's trying to find Rain. But! It helps. It helps when you know the kind of crowd you want to be around. If the crowd that you're around is not inspiring you, uplifting you, and motivating you, it is time to move around. And sometimes people, especially when it comes to a work setting, we tend to take on a lot and we tend to Let it prolong longer than it it should. And so, but just remember that you come first and that do what you need to for your sake. God is going to guide you to exactly where you need to be if you surrender and put it in his hands. And you trust. You know, I've been putting it in God's hands and guess what? It's working for me, so I know it can work for you. It's something that a lot of people, is people, they like to have control. They like to think that they have control over everything. But in reality, we ha- we only have control over ourselves. And self-care, self-love, self-respect is something that we all need to embody more of and just know our boundary line. So that way, if anyone or anything, whether it's a job or person or thing, crosses that boundary, you can, you know, nip it in the butt right away, you know, and... If it continues, like you see, you say, so you think you resolve something, and if it continues, then, then you you're gonna have to make a decision on what your next move is because um, you deserve that peace and happiness. And if if something's not, a lot of it is, is something that we we embody, so we have to work on that within ourselves. But if it really is someone on the outside, then you will have to make that decision on. Buds, over here, over here, come here. Buds, over here, come, come this way. Focus on me. Focus on mommy. Come over here. Be a good girl. Hi. Come on. Over here. Be a good girl. <laughs> Just again, uh, making that decision on what what you should do next because and pray about it. I I truly believe prayer is one of the most powerfulest things you can do. Um, pray, pray, and. And write it down in your journal and um, then clear yourself of it and uh, wait for an answer. An answer may come to you right away. Write that down too because people tend to forget because there's so much things going on, so many distractions, and so people tend to forget. But just write it down. If anything comes to mind of what you should do next, write it down and then tell yourself, I'm you know, I got the answer. I'm going to stick with this and, uh, uh, move forward in this direction because this is where my inner God, my, you know, the universe is telling me to go this way. So just 
just work work on yourself my dear work on yourself and uh create balance within and create harmony within and create that love and 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 happiness that you deserve from within and the more you work on yourself the more you'll start to see it on the outside it's going to take you know it's a process of course and so it's you may not see it right away but stay consistent consistency is key my coach tells me consistency is key and so just stay consistent trust the process and uh, know that it's going to work for your highest good for for your best interest and so therefore so shall it be I love you all. Have a wonderful and amazing day because you deserve it.